Hello everyone. I'd like to share my vision with you that I had at 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, in this vision, uh, I saw an angel of the Lord and he was standing between heaven and the earth. He was just standing there in the air. I wonder how they do that. Just standing up there between heaven and earth. Standing on nothing. He was standing on nothing. He was just standing there. And in his uh, right hand, he had a sword. And in his left hand, he had an olive branch. And the angel was talking, and he, it was like he was screaming. And I heard him say to those on the earth, God has offered you peace, and you have rejected his peace. Now the sword will fall upon all nations. The sword of war. Brothers against brothers. Kingdoms against kingdoms. And I saw another angel. And he had a trumpet in his hand. And he sounded his trumpet three times. And it was a warning of what was to come. And the angel took me to the east gate of Jerusalem. And there was writing on the gate. And he said to me, Read the writing to me. And I said to the angel of the Lord, I cannot read that writing. And in the vision I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit. And he said to me, Read the writing. And I told the angel, the writing says, Warning of death, a warning of a plague, the plagues of Egypt, to all those that destroyed these gates and these walls of my city and enter into my holy land by force. The angel took the olive branch and he threw it into the earth and there was an earthquake at the gates of Jerusalem in the Middle East and the angel of the Lord stood there and he pointed at the borders that were near the gates of Jerusalem and he pointed and he started screaming they're coming they're coming to take Jerusalem by force. And the battle will no longer be between men. The battle will be between heaven and earth. Because those that will go into the city of God and take it by force. And the vision was over. I, every time I have a vision and I'm taking in the vision so fast and when God brings me back out of the vision I never understand why God took me in that vision why does God want me to see the angel of the Lord standing in the air with a sword in one hand and an olive branch in the other I, I never understand why or what this means to me I don't live in Jerusalem and I keep telling the Holy Spirit. And whenever the Holy Spirit gives me warnings, I tell the Holy Spirit, what am I going to do with that warning? Is it going to change anything about me? Is it going to affect me? And then the Holy Spirit tells me. He said, yes. What is coming? The violence that's rising high. The wars. The wars. Nations moving against nations will affect the entire world. It will affect everything. It will change this life. It will turn it upside down. It will move you into the direction of the mark of the beast and the coming of the beast. He said, don't you see, Donna? All these things are happening not by no accident. They are happening because this was written years ago. And it must come to pass. Jesus warned and 
to his disciples of what the end and his coming would be, the signs of his coming. And we are seeing the signs moving. And the Holy Spirit told me, the collapse of the nations is before you. The collapse of the money, the dollar will collapse. Moving the world into the mark of the beast. Control. It is control, church. Don't you know, understand the mark of the beast, this chip is a tracking device. Your government will know what you buy. See, you don't, you won't have any freedom. The Holy Spirit was showing me. You won't have any freedom. Your government will know where you go, what time you went into certain stores. They'll know what you bought. There'll be no freedom. Through this chip that is coming, the Holy Spirit said that money will collapse. Nations will fall one by one. And he said that be meant, I mean, I'm telling you, church, I saw people burning money because it was not of any value. It wasn't worth anything anymore. And it was money that caused the collapse because they have to keep printing more money and more money. And the Holy Spirit says that's why the chip and the mark of the beast will come in because it is money in the air. And they will not be another collapse because there's no money. It's all done through, banking will be done through this chip. And it will be a one world government. One world order. One government control. And the Holy Spirit says that the things that we are seeing is leading us to that place. So now I understand why God is giving me visions of things that's happening in the Middle East. Because what happens here is about to change our world. And the Holy Spirit said, not one nation is in trouble, but all nations. What happens in the Middle East will affect the entire world. That's what the Holy Spirit said to me. When I asked Him, why am I getting these dreams and these visions and why am I getting these warnings? And at that time, they didn't mean anything to me. But now I understand. Because it will affect all of us, church. It won't affect one nation, but all nations. It's going to move us to the collapse. To the collapse of nations. The collapse of our economy. Our way of life. It's going to usher us all in into a new way of life. And that change is in the air. It is so close, church. Can't you smell it in the air? Every time I go outside, the Holy Spirit always asks me, Look around. Look around you, Donna. What you see will change. And it will change fast. He said, Are you not seeing the signs of the change that's coming? Weather's changing. The ocean's changing. The universe is changing. Our planet is changing. Nations are changing. People are changing. Violence is rising high and will continue. Because those that have been in the pits of hell and been locked up are being set free from their prison. Those that have been bound in the great river Euphrates are being loosed from their place of they've been held because God knows as soon as these beings are released the first thing they do is go to war and that's what we're seeing we're seeing the hate and the violence rising and it will continue until Jesus returns because the devil is moving man to destruction the destruction of the planet the destruction of our way of life, destruction to the weather, destruction to the universe, 
because of the choices that man is making. Because his imagination is evil. What he imagines to do, nothing will stop him. Only God will be able to stop what is coming. And that's why Jesus will return. Because he's the only one that can make war with what's coming. May God go with each and every one of you today. And may God bless you. And may he give you the strength and the courage to overcome the spirits that are warring against us. Church, we were battling spirits and battling our flesh. What is coming is much bigger than this. So you better know God. You better have faith in God because you're going to need it. And God will go with us. He will not leave us. He will not forsake us. That is his promise that I hold him to. I, I don't know about you, church, but I hold God to his word. I do. I hold him to that word. And when I ask God something, I tell Him, that's your word. And I know you cannot go against your word, and I know the promises you made you will keep. So let's hold God to His word, that He will not leave us nor forsake us. Tinkerbell, she's looking out the window. But church, let's be ready. Let's put on our armor, and let's stand in faith. And let's hold God to his promises. Okay? Let's stand in faith. And let's all stand together in agreement. In agreement that God will go with us. He will lead us. He will teach us. And he will guide us. But he will not forsake us. God bless you, church. God bless you.